Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are on Main Street in Uxbridge, Massachusetts, where we will be watching part of a conductor replacement project performed by our participating utility National Grid. And this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now, as we look onto the scene of today's job, let's listen in on the audio from this morning's tailboard job safety briefing. All right. We're on South Main Street in Uxbridge, Mass. The line crews are gonna go out to uh, pole 26. Closest intersection is Newell Road. And uh, we're on the, we have the NRA on the 231 W9 and 231 W4 feeders. We're gonna make clearance for the Hendrix and spacer cable, prepare the primary area and install the brackets, guys, down grounds, install rollers, cover up primary. Move the phases out as required on the arms and uh, extension arms as necessary. It is energized. Uh, make sure we got all our signs and cones and uh, police protection out there. Busy road, a lot of truck traffic. Watch your boom swing out in the traffic. A lot of trucks going by here. Narrow, twisty road, so set up a good work zone. Uh, personal gear, FR. So now as we look up at the pole where this work will be done, we see our line crew first installing rubber or line blankets and line sleeves. Remember these lines are energized. They're not cutting power to anyone. This work's being done in the middle of the day. Also notice the GoPro camera on one of our linemen in the bucket truck here. So let's go to that camera view next as we see the continuation of installation of these line sleeves and line blankets. Also notice our linemen are wearing full leathers and gloves. These lines are energized. And now we can take a look at this yellow temporary extension arm which will be installed today. That is to allow for the installation of new conductors on new brackets on the new pole. And here we see them placing that temporary extension arm onto the existing cross arm on the pole that is to be replaced. Again, this will provide an opportunity to move the lines over so they can then reattach them to the new pole. So here we see a few shots of that temporary extension arm in the foreground. The new pole, new distribution pole is in the background of this scene because the next task is to hang a new fuse or switch cutout on this nice. temporary cross arm. You see them do that. There's the new switch right there. Okay, now they do take away the old switch, but we're not showing that for time purposes here on this video. Instead, I'm going to show you the connection to the line for the new switch that they've just hung. First, they have to clear off a piece of the wire and brush that wire for clean contact. And once that wire is clean, attach this clamp and then feed into that clamp the wire the tap from the top of the cutout. Got that? Make that connection, tighten that down, and then you're going to hang what's called a door on this cutout and close that in to activate that off. switch. See him here extending a hot stick to grab the bottom of that door and close that in. Now he's going to remove the cover from the old fuse and put it over the new one. Attach that because that is now live. And so now we can slide the line sleeve back over the tap from the new fuse. And now attach what's called a link stick here to his jib. And he's going to use this now. They're going to connect that to the line. And here's where we're going to see them actually move this energized line from uh, its old conductor onto the new one on the new temporary cross arm. Awesome. 
all set. Okay, Tom, you ready? Now, as they move this line, I'm going to just kind of let you watch and listen, though we will lose a little bit of focus. I'm going to zoom the camera in so we can see the movement of this energized line. And we can take another look at that same procedure from the ground here. You see that line being moved over to be set in place on that new spacer cable configuration of the cross arm. And now we are back up above watching the second line, second phase actually being moved over to the temporary cross arm. So now we clearly see the two lines attached to the temporary extension arm and they're going to install a roller to bring in the new lines. And as we look up from the ground you can now see that temporary extension arm with the energized lines resting on it. You can also see the roller up above as they bring in the new lines they will attach them to the new distribution pole. You have now seen our TND How video on a temporary extension arm installation. Our participating utility was National Grid. This video was sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you as always for watching.